Hey guys, Retro Ralph here. Thanks again for joining. Today I just wanted to do a quick follow up on the Pandora's box video. I noticed on the internet there aren't a lot of resources showing you how to add games to your Pandora's box. So I'm not going to tell you where to source games, I'm just going to tell you how to add the games once you acquire them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this quick video on how to add games to your Pandora's box. All right, guys, let's get right to it. So first things first, you're going to need to get the USB drive that came with your Pandora's box system and put it into your PC. At that point, you're going to be presented with a directory structure that looks just like this that's on the screen right now. So basically where you're going to put the games you acquire is going to be dependent on what emulator that they need to play on. So um, all the the folder structure for the games you add are going to be ROMs and underscore and then the name of that emulator. So if it's Final Burn Alpha, you're going to put them here. If it's MAME, you're going to put them here. If it's PlayStation, you're going to put them here. Now, the ROMs folder, the straight ROMs folder is dedicated to the ROMs that 3A Games provides you. So don't mess with that. Just leave that alone. You will be adding ROMs to that that 3A Games provides you. Uh, the Pandora's box no longer ships with the ROMs on the system. So um, after your purchase, you will contact them, they'll send you a link and you can download the ROMs. So we won't mess with that. Now um, let's assume that uh, MAME is the emulator that we're adding a ROM for and Rampage is the game we're gonna add. So if we double click on ROMs underscore MAME, you'll see I already added the Rampage ROM there. So for all intents and purposes, you could at this point, um, unmount the drive, put it in your Pandora's box, and at the end of the, the game screen, so after you've scrolled through everything, um, any ROMs you've added would be at the end of that screen. Now, um, what I will say is, if you wanna take it a step further, um, what you could do is add a preview video. So this is a part that isn't documented for some reason, I'm not sure why. So you can add video files so that when you scroll on to added games, uh, it will play the preview files. So how you would do that is basically, you'd go into this movies directory, and if you look, if I type in Rampage, oh, sorry about that, let's see. My desk is a mess right now, okay. Uh, if you type in Rampage, you'll see there is a rampage.avi file. So the, the files for these preview videos need to be in AVI format. So however you need to get them into AVI format, you're going to need to do that. And they need to be named the same exact name as the ROM file. So if you add Rampage and the name of that game is Rampage, then you're going to go and, and maybe you could scrape YouTube or something like that for a file or, or sorry, for a video for Rampage, a preview video, and then you just have to figure out how to convert it into AVI. And there's a million tools out there to convert, scrape things. Um, clip Grab is the one that I use. You can use Clip Grab to grab clips off YouTube. Uh, and then you can convert it into various different formats. So Clip Grab would be the one I would prefer uh, people use. Um, so anyways, or at least for me. That's pretty much it. Um, the other thing I will add is there's sort of these, these um, MAME and Final Burn Alpha definition files. If you click on these, it'll show you all the games that this particular emulator supports. So if you look, if I go and open up MAME, I can do a search here. Uh, oops. Sorry, I'm on my, uh, there we go. Um, I'm using an, a Mac keyboard on my PC, and of course, Mac likes to make everything difficult. But uh, so there it is. So there's di various different versions of Rampage that this particular uh, MAME version that's on this supports. So it supports Rampage, uh, a file called Rampage, and then a file called Rampage 2, which was apparently the revision 2 of that particular ROM. So you can cross-reference this file just to make sure that the ROM that you have will work with this emulator. Um, and then again, it's not really guaranteed that it's gonna work just because it's in here, but that you can at least see if the game was supported on this particular emulator. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, the only thing I will mention 
Uh, again, if you have a Pandora's box five, you cannot add games to it. So if it's a Pandora's box six, you can add games and you can do it through the method I just showed you. So it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. If you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comments section. I try to get to everyone uh, who asks a question or has a comment. So uh, please, please like this video if it was helpful. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be informed of future videos. And thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support. Take care.